Hi, this is Brent Raymond, and this is a demo of how to use PHP and 4D to convert an older format Excel document with the .xls extension to the current .xlsx format, <clears throat> which is the, uh, the new open document format that Excel uses to be compatible with all, uh, all other applications that have same kind of Excel uh, data. My name is Brent Raymond. I'm from the 4D Method, 4D and Wakanda user group. You can get to our website here, 4dmethod.com. Um, so, just in a, a quick review, um, it's possible to create older format documents uh, XLS to be specific uh, with uh, with some uh, with a variety of different ways actually uh, currently I, I use uh, Miyako's plugin um, specifically I use the XLS simple plugin to generate uh, uh, spreadsheets you can have several sheets you can set styles you can do everything but it's the old format um, so I was looking for a way to create the new XLSX formats uh, with, uh, with, uh, with 4D. And um, you can get into the actual structure of the document and edit all the XML. Uh, however, it gets really pretty hairy quickly. And uh, unless you know what you're doing, you can corrupt a document pretty quickly. So um, so I did notice that there is this uh, tech note PHP Excel library with 4D V12 uh, which went over how to import data from Excel using PHP, the PHP library PHP Excel uh, in 4D. And here's you can find the website for PHP Excel uh, at this web uh, at this address and uh, and get the current version which is 1.8 uh, that's what we'll be using for the demo um, okay so right so you could say use PHP to export create and export the uh, um, all of you know the, the the current version Excel document or if, uh, if you've got existing code uh, using uh, other methods for creating the document um, and don't want to rewrite it uh, and, and risk uh, possibly having to call PHP commands uh, hundreds or thousands of times, um, which can have it, their own memory cost, um, you could just create the Excel document with the older, older plugins, and convert the document to the current version uh, with the uh, PHP Excel library. So let's check it out. So I have a, uh, a database here called Excel Demo, and I'll upload this to uh, my GitHub and post a link on 4D method. Um, but it's again loosely based on uh, some of the code that was found in the tech note, um, which is pretty interesting uh, if you want to see how to do uh, some other things with uh, get other information from Excel. Um, however, I basically extended it to have a, a way to convert documents. So within the package, the 4D database package, in the resources folder, you'll have your php.any and the PHP folder with the classes. This is just the, the standard uh, folder of classes that you'll get from PHP Excel when you download uh, the project. Um, and the PHP Excel .php main script and this is the only thing that you have to actually add 
which is the PHP Excel wrappers. Um, so let's take a look at that real quick. So in this wrapper document, I have one function defined, and let's take a quick step through that. Uh, the function is called Excel upvert. Uh, you feed it an Excel file path. Um, the first step is just setting up some uh, cell caching. Uh, PHP Excel is known for uh, not being very memory friendly. Um, the documents can uh, require a, a lot of memory and so you have to do a few, jump through a few hoops if you're going to work with larger Excel documents. Um, if you're interested, see this Stack Overflow link and, uh, and look up the, how to use these cached object storage factory, uh, look up the docs on that. But anyway, so we're setting up some caching. Um, then we'll create a new reader object to read the old Excel file. Um, there's a few other interesting memory tricks that you can do. Uh, if you're not concerned about any cell formatting like bolding or fonts or italics, that kind of stuff, you can have the script only read the data, so you would uncomment this line. Again, if you're only interested in one sheet or another in an Excel document, you can have it only load one sheet or another, or you can put in actually an array of sheets. Um, so getting down to the meat of the, of the script here, you load the old Excel file into this object that you created, the reader object. Then you create a writer object for with the Excel 2007 format, which is actually the XLSX format. And then you create a name, which is basically just replacing the extension. And you save it out with, uh, with the, the save function for the, uh, the writer. And then this will just return the new path to the document. Now there's a lot that can be done here as far as uh, hardening up the script for uh, any kind of errors or try, wrapping it in tries. Um, I'll let you guys do this as it's just a proof of concept. Let's look at uh, how this is run from within 4D. So here is our uh, our demo database. Um, I have a test method which is it will access the demo data in the resources folder, uh, that old format Excel document. Uh, it, it will upconvert it and then it will show it on disk. Let's see what this method actually does. Um, it's quite simple. It's looking for the, the path to the wrapper document that has the, uh, the function that I defined in there. Um, it's getting the parameter. Um, currently, I just took the, uh, the flow from the tech note uh, formatting the, the, uh, the path for, uh, for use on the Mac. However, there's no reason why this uh, wouldn't work on Windows, although I have not tried it yet. Please let me know if it doesn't, if you do try it yourself. Um, right, so the, this PHP execute calls the upvert Excel upvert function in this wrapper document. Um, it is getting a return value of the new path to the document and it is feeding it a parameter of uh, the old document path. Um, if it fails, then there's a handy dandy uh, a viewer for seeing what errors the Excel uh, or the, uh, the script kicked you back. And then the function returns the new path to the document. Again, error handling, 
you can uh, can harden this up in a lot of ways to make sure everything actually worked and you can also clean up by deleting the old XLS document if you like um, but uh, again this is just a proof of concept so let's go ahead and run it and see what it did Okay, it looks like it did it, but it did not actually show it on disk, so. Okay, so uh, so it did work. Not sure why it didn't show it on disk. But, uh, so this is the original document. It's all the data is bolded, and then this is the new document. Um, we can go ahead and go in. I'll just delete that. And I'll show you how you can edit the, the, the script so that you only convert the data instead of copying over all the bolded styles. So let's go ahead and run it again. I'll put a little stop there just in case. Um, so let's back. Okay, and we are there. It's trying to show that path. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, that's why the uh, show on disk didn't work. It's actually um, the POSIX path. But we can, as we can see, it did actually work. And we'll go and open that one more time. And in this case, it did not actually copy the uh, formatting. Uh, so if you're concerned about memory, that is a good way to limit the, the memory usage and you can handle much larger documents um, with less chance of failure. Okay, uh, that's the demo. Converting old format Excel documents to current open Excel, XML format. Uh, Excel, do, do, ex, it's too many X's. Excel documents. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you at the 4D method next 40 method user group meeting. Thanks everyone.